Hey, so discipline equals freedom. Tell me if you agree with this. I actually did a recent LinkedIn post where I just shared three disciplines, three habits that I have in my day, and I encouraged others to share theirs, and I couldn't believe the response it got. So many folks resonated with the concept that having small disciplines, having small habits that we do every day really help move the needle in our lives and in our businesses. So what I talked about was how important it is to have habits we do on a day-to-day -day basis, especially in the morning when we start our day, to set ourselves up for success. Now these don't have to be very significant business deals, conversations, strategies. They're very simple, they're very small, but what we do in small disciplines, we then do in larger ones. So the three that I shared were number one, I always make my bed, even though it's so inefficient to do that because you just end up unmaking it at the end of the day. And even when I'm traveling at a hotel where they have made service, they have turned down service, they have housekeeping, and yet I still make the bed because it's so important to me to start with that discipline of I finish what I start. There's a completion energy that happens. Number two is exercise. I know for me, mentally, psychologically, Physically, I need to move in the morning. I need to get that energy flowing. So I always make sure I can exercise in the morning. In fact, I'm thinking I was been on a streak now probably over 10, maybe 15 years of always doing this. Now you might say, well, what happens if you're not feeling well or you're sick? I do something. Like if I'm really sick, if I had a fever and I just couldn't stand up, I would do something. I would lift a weight or I would do a sit up or a push up or walk. Walking is so healthy and good. And again, I, this is just my discipline. I'm not telling you, you have to do it too, but it was so important to me to exercise and move my body. And it's so important mentally as well. And then the third habit I had is I always plan my clothing out, if not the night before, the week before. That is amazing to me because I was reading an article once about entrepreneurs, like billionaire mindset entrepreneurs, and they always either wore the same outfit, very similar outfit. So many times we would see Steve Jobs in like the black t-shirt and jeans or Jeff Bezos in a very you know, repeatable outfit because they didn't wanna burn decision-making energy and time on deciding what to wear. Well, I didn't wanna wear the same thing every day, although sometimes it might work out that way that I have similar colors, but what I do is I plan my week by the events I have, the weather, the temperature, how I'm feeling, right? And then I say, okay, these are my clothes. So when I get up every day, I don't have to burn a lot of decision-making energy thinking about what I'm gonna wear. So those three habits have been incredible for me. Now I have others that I do. I do my Thrive Journal, a Thrive Framework that I developed and I share with all my students and colleagues and clients. I just love this. I do that in the evenings right before bed and I have other disciplines I do throughout the day. Like I take off vitamins at a specific time. But those three habits are so important because they start my day in what I call completion energy, the power of action and completion energy pace, right? So I want you to think about as you're going into this week, because I love the reaction I got from this post. And so if you saw that post and you're getting this email or you're getting this video again, it is a great amplifier for this important point of having actions, habits, disciplines set up in your day, especially in your morning to set yourself up for success. This is a high performance hack, meaning it's not a big seismic thing to do, but if you set yourself up this way with small decisions, you will find you will be successful in much larger ones.